welcome back to Keeping Up With China. Today we're back with another video. So today is a little, um, it's going to be a car tour video. So I just bought a new car like last week, like it's been one week now. I bought a new car and I'm so excited. I'm like, why not just do a car tour? Why not? Oh, my face is oily, you guys. I'm, me and my sister are actually going to the gym so we just passed by somewhere and we just thought let's do a car tour video because it's been raining all day and honestly i cannot find the right time to actually do this car tour so yeah you guys so the car i got was is a um, 2018 honda accord i'm trying to find the, the, the best lighting 2018 honda accord um why i picked this car um honestly I just think it was the best fit for me because um, I did not want to buy like a you know very expensive luxury car. I'm very yeah. If y'all don't know, I'm very cheap. Like I don't I don't like spending my money unless I have to. And I know well I knew I knew that it was time for me to get you know a new car, but I you know I didn't want to spend you know too much money and i've been putting it off for a few months now i'm like ah, oh, i'll buy it on my birthday which is in, which is in january but i'm like mm. so anyway so we started to look at cars and then we found this one and i'm like perfect because it's red it's everything that i want you guys like everything that i want so yeah you guys so we're just gonna go and show you guys um this is a, tw a 2018 um uh, i went with the 2018 because um because the 2019 and the 2020, there's not much really difference really. There are some slight, you know, feature changes, but look at my sister in the back. There are like some slight feature, um, you know, but I didn't think it was that big of a deal for, for me to get the 2020 or the 2019. So, and we found the 2018 and it's the exact, you know, the, the one that I want. So we're just gonna start with this car tour. We're gonna start off with the window. So this is the, no, not the window, this is the, um, what you call it, the door, passenger door. It has like a, a black, and I don't know, black interior thing going on here. And it has like this, um, I don't know what you call this, but it's like a gray silver design that I really like. It's so cute. And it just adds a little, I don't know, a little something to the door <laughs> okay and then over here we have the uh, this right here it controls um the windows um uh, all the windows and then this is the lock button unlock and these are for, for the um for the side mirrors and then you know if you don't want to change the right one you can just do this and if you really want to do the, the left one you can just do this and then change the you know, if you really want to go up or down or sideways or whatever you know over here we have some compartments um i have two water bottles here it has a cup holder right here and then a compartment for whatever you want to put in there and over here too you have a, another compartment over here is where you open the trunk you just click it and then hold it and then it opens the trunk so over here we have the honestly i don't know what these do yet i think this one is like a sensor like if someone gets too close to you or if, if you get too close to a car it'll like beep and stuff like that something like that i'm really not sure yet. oh and right here this is where you can put the the, the chair back and forth you can put this part up or down and then this i didn't know what this was but it's like this part right here it can go it can go all the way like it can go all the way up it can go it's like a little back massage thing i don't think you guys can see but look hold on i'm gonna try, try to stay still for you guys like it goes back and then it's like really nice you guys so yeah you guys i really love it so nice oh and i didn't show you guys this this is where your glasses i have the glasses in there my sister's glasses what the fuck? <laughs> and this is the light up here no, I don't follow and i don't know what this does i honestly don't know what that does honestly and then oh. what 
So that's it, you guys. So when you first get in, it shows you this H. The lighting is kind of off, you guys. It's H, which means like welcome, whatever. It is a push to start. The, the key has to be in the car. So, so, so all you do is just press the button and the brakes at the same time. And then the car start. And then, yeah, and it has, this is what it's showing. Um, two, the, the two doors are open right now. And you guys, because I've been driving all week long. Uh, all right, y'all, so I forgot to show you guys what um, these buttons do. <clears throat> so if you press home, this button right here, press home, you can um, like change um, what you want to see like on that part right there but what, what exactly you want to see like for example if you really want to see the speed and time you can press ok and then it shows you the speed and you know the elapsed time and then you can it can show you what's playing it can show you what's on your like you know your phone traffic sign driving support it has a lot of different things like for example if you um, click on maintenance you click on it it shows you that your oil life is 100% and other things. So, yeah, you guys, this is pretty cool. I really like this. It gives you warnings and all that good stuff. Yeah. And also, this is for the phone. Like, um, if somebody calls you, you can pick up here. You can hang up. And then if you want to be like, oh, call so-and-so, call whatever you can just press on this button and you know to tell them what whatever you want them to do now over here on this side honestly i don't know what any of these do i think this is like a roadside like a road country like you know if it helps to, to keep you in the lane between the lane like if you if you go off the lane like too much off the, the, the lane it'll like it'll like um beep and stuff like that you know and it'll tell you to you know get back in your lane or whatever and this one, I'm not really sure what that one is. I think it's, you know, the um, it took, it kind of measures how how far, like the like look, like it tells you how far you, you want to, to be um, behind a car. Like I'm, I guess it measures the amount of um, foot or I don't know how you know if you get too close, it'll beep or whatever for you to you know still a little bit, you know, give the car a little bit more space. So that's that, and then over here is the, um, this is the driving, I don't know what you call this you guys, but you know, you, you have to press back, Hold on. and then right here you guys, this version is the sport version, if I want the, the car to be on sport, look, if I press the sport, it'll change to sport, and then if I want it to go back to economy and you can turn that on and that is just to save gas but um yeah if i don't want any of them on i can just turn both of them off but i usually leave it on economy because to save gas duh i ain't gonna lie guys i've been driving this car everywhere all week and it's still pretty good so the get like the get um it really does really good in gas you guys really really, really good so that's that and over here you got the two cup holders i just have have my little and then over here is a compartment place. It's very, very deep. Um, and over here, you, you'll have your, call, your, your your charger things, the USB cord where you, you can connect the, your phone to, like if you want to use the, the navigation system. Um, and I have an extra an extra thing in here to charge my phone. Um, or if I have gas or whatever, if we're, we're doing them in like a road trip or whatever, I can have extra space for them to charge your phone. You just click this and it closed. And then now over here is the is the AC control. So here you turn the the temperature. And if you you want both of them to be in the same t temperature, you can just press push to sync. Or if you don't want them, like for example, if I want my side to be colder, like I can put it all the way to 70, and then you know the passenger they, they can leave theirs, you know, to, to 70, 64 if they want to. They, they can also control theirs. But if we want them both to be at the same time, um, the, the same. Um, 
you know the same the, the number for example if i want it to be 66 i just press put sync and then now they're both 66 it's pretty nice and then over here is the mode with your feet i usually just have it on this setting because i don't want my feet to be cold and stuff these are for the defrost on the front and in the back and then this is to just turn it on and off so it's really cute i really like it over here it's just the emergency um signal button and then now we're gonna go i had my, my mask on the top so anyway so this is the keypad um my old car did not have a keypad so i was very excited about this i really wanted this car for sure to have a keypad sorry guys for the lighting but i really like it like um you can call people um and all that stuff and there's a different settings and there's also bluetooth setting and there's also like a usb setting so it's pretty nice um you can like change the clock like for example hold on let me see if you want to change the clocks and stuff for example let's change it to this set it and then press clock up here and then that's it right here and it's pretty nice and the the base and all that stuff is pretty good in this car like it's really 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 nice but um so that's that for the for this is like in, in the way for like the pad which is really really nice and then we're gonna come over here which this is like the hand rest or whatever you want to call it um okay so in here it's pretty so you have this little thing little tray thing i don't know and then it's pretty big like we can actually fit a lot of things in here you guys like we just have my mac lip gloss and vaseline and then you also have an extra outlet thing let me see how do you open it i don't know how to open it, you guys oh there you go so th there's an extra outlet thing in here so that's that it's pretty spacious it's, it's you know also wide so both both people like the passenger and the driver can actually put their hand on the armrest this is my sister but anyways so yeah and then this is this side this side is pretty nice um and we also have like the what is this called the compartment the glove compartment yeah the glove compartment uh, where i just leave my registration and gloves in there i don't know why i have gloves in there but i have gloves in there um and then yeah and then the other side of the door is pretty much the same it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty much the same as this side except it doesn't have all the extra buttons that this side has so the back when i tell you guys the back is actually very spacious like it's so spacious i haven't sat in the back yet but it is very spacious like i love the i love the color like the interior design like i i wanted to make sure that the car has the like a black interior because the reason why i didn't get the normal one because there's like the the, the i think the le x something but i wanted the sport because the sport had the black grayish interior design the other one had like a tannish color which i didn't really like i didn't think it really it went well with the with the red I think the black look better um it has like an armrest which is pretty nice and the cup holders right here so yeah guys it's pretty nice and deep um sorry guys the floor is kind of dirty because we already dirtying it already uh, the um trunk the trunk is pretty nice you guys pretty nice and big i don't have anything in the back this these actually were in my old car i don't know why and when i just, um trade in my old car i just put these in the back and this is my work shoe and that's about it it actually it's pretty nice it comes with like the tire thing to change the tire extra um, spare tire and also like this oil change thing it's pretty nice and that's that you guys so as you guys can see like look at the wheels you guys i love the wheel like the color is just like like what really sold me guys was the front like it just looks so nice like i don't know i just it's just something about the front it, it's like it's giving you like a luxury car vibe except you're not it's not really a luxury car but it's giving you like a a luxury car vibe like the wheels is the wheel in the front is what really sold me like 
and the body of this car is just so nice like i haven't used the sport mode yet but i could because i'm so scared because it does go really fast but yeah you guys like this is the car like i'm so in love with this car i'm so glad that i bought it at first i was a little skeptical because i'm like oh, i don't need a new car blah 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 but it makes me really really happy that it's mine and i bought it and you know so that is about it you guys i'm very happy with my purchase so um yeah you guys so right now we're gonna go to the gym um if you guys have any questions regarding the car um anything that i didn't go over because i know i didn't go over a lot of things because I, I cannot really remember everything the sun is like in my face now the sun want to be out um if i didn't go over any um something that i didn't go over make sure you guys leave your questions down below um so yeah you guys thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys on my next video bye